I downloaded these two images in the Pixels website. If you want, you can use the same image that I used. Download link is in the description. I will use Photoshop to edit this image. You can even use Affinity Photo which is very similar to Photoshop. You can even use your own image. This is a light effect. Light is always visible in the darkest environments than in a bright outside. So make sure your image background is much more dark. Drag drop the image into Photoshop. This image has a bright background. So let's make it dark. Get the quick selection tool and select the model. This can be done roughly. Create a new layer, select the brush tool with black color. Hide this layer for later use. Create another new layer and press Ctrl Shift I to inverse the selection. Brush on top of the layer as well. You can reduce the opacity of this layer until the background becomes little darker. Now let's create a backlight by creating a new layer. Select the brush tool and select the color blue. Brush on top of the edges and change the bending mode to divide. Please note, your blending mood can be a lot different from mine depending on the image you are working with. So feel free to try different ones until it suits. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and increase the blurriness slightly. Create a new layer and rename it as line. Using the brush tool, draw a 3D circular path around the body. Hold Ctrl and press the thumbnail of the hidden layer which we created before. And select the line layer and erase the parts which supposed to be behind the body. Duplicate the line layer two more times and hide the layers. Change the blending mode of the first line layer to divide. Make it blur by going to filter blur and Gaussian blur. Increase the blurriness slightly. Select the middle line and also give it a blur but this time add some extra blur. Third line's blur should be much more than the first two lines. Duplicate the first line layer and put it at the very top to get a finalized light glow look. Since there is light glowing around the body, it needs to be reflecting on the body as well. Create a layer below the line. Get the brush tool, start adding light touching the body. And change the blending modes to anything which suits. For me, overlay goes well. To make the scene more interesting, I went to Google and searched for fire particles overlay and downloaded this image. Duplicate it and adjust it. Select these three images and change their blending mode to screen. Apply a layer masking on it. Select brush with black color and erase the edges of the fire image. Do the same thing for the other images as well. Finally, to make the colors pop, let's use Nick Collection extension. 
If you don't have Nick collection, you can even use the Photoshop built-in filters. Select Color Effects Pro in this. I will select Lavender. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe for more and see you on my next video.